What does a soggy dollar bill have to do with rum? Well, back in the 1970s, on a small Caribbean island, one of these would have gotten you an original rum cocktail that's now ubiquitous across the Caribbean. Stick around and we'll make one when we get back. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Florida Rum Explorer. I'm Brian, and like I said in the intro, today we're going to talk about the painkiller. The painkiller is an interesting cocktail because it was developed back in the early 1970s on a small Caribbean island, the British Virgin Islands, called Yost Van Dyke. And it was developed at a little seven or eight seat bar called the Soggy Dollar Bar. The reason why it's called the Soggy Dollar Bar is because back then, there were no roads to the bar, um, there was no dock in the harbor. So the only way people could get there is that they would anchor their boats in the little harbor out there and they'd either swim to shore or take a dinghy or whatever. And by the time they got to shore, all their money in their pockets was wet or soggy. So they'd pay for their drinks with soggy dollars. Hence the name, the so Soggy Dollar Bar. Um, I don't think it's quite like that anymore. I think they have a road there now. They, I don't know if they have ever got their dock, but uh, it's still, from what I understand, a small little place. Um, I've read articles about saying it's the ultimate uh, Caribbean bar to go to. It's definitely on my bucket list, one of the places I want to go to. Um, but uh, but we're going to do their claim to fame, which is the painkiller. Now, the interesting thing about the painkiller is if you go to their website, the ingredients are listed, but the proportions are not. They say the proportions are secret. Um, the Pusser's Company, which we have some Pusser's rum here, has their version of the painkiller which they claim is almost identical to the original. Um, also, you know, a lot of recipes call for using Pusser's rum, and the first time I had a painkiller was at the Pusser's restaurant in Annapolis, Maryland, which is right on the harbor, right across from the Naval Academy. And I'll tell you, you get a, get a painkiller and a couple of crab cakes, that is a nice way to spend your day. But, um, but you know, we, we used Pusser's before. Um, it is basically a commercial version of the old British Navy rum, or the Admir Admiralty rum. Um, we're going to use this, and it's a very easy cocktail to make, and one that I think you'll enjoy. So, before we do that, I have to do the little pitch. If you like this kind of contract content, please like and subscribe. Um, you know, I, I'd like to grow the channel someday, so it'd be great if you, know, if you like it, you subscribe, maybe you share it, you know, um, and we get some more subscribers out there. Uh, we seem to be stuck a little bit. But like I said, please like and subscribe, and all right, let's make a painkiller. So, technically, a painkiller calls is you know is a blended drink. Um, I don't know, blenders you know they make a lot of noise, so I'm not going to use one. So I'm going to use my trusty shaker, and it starts off easily enough with two ounces of dark rum, navy rum. And like I said, I'm using pussers here. The one. Two, so two ounces of rum. And then we're gonna to go to four ounces of pineapple juice. So I've got my pineapple juice right here. So that's two of these. One, two. One ounce of orange juice. Okay, one ounce of OJ, and then one ounce cream of coconut. Um, you know, again, if you store cream of coconut in your refrigerator, you might want to pull it out a little early to let it, you know, warm up so that it's easily to pour. So, one ounce of cream of coconut. Make sure it's all in there. Cap that off. I'm going to put the top back on here. We're going to shake it up. All right, that should be enough. So, since it was a little beachside bar, I suspect that originally it was just served in a plastic cup. Um, the Pusser's restaurant serves in a little tin mug. It has the Pusser's name on there. They're kind of cute. But um, I've seen most of the recipes out there cough for serving it in, you know, like a daiquiri glass. 
Um, I actually like using a Collins glass, so we're going to use that. Okay. Now, traditionally, the recipe calls for it to be garnished with nutmeg. So I'm just going to take a little bit of nutmeg. Uh, obviously, this is pre-graded. I mean, who's got time to grate their own nutmeg, right? Um, anyway, and then serve it with a straw. So there you go. That is the painkiller. And if you see the color, obviously it has kind of that golden color from the, the juices and everything. A little bit of the, uh, the creaminess from the cream of coconut. Um, I actually don't like using straw, so I'm not going to use it. Oh man, that is good. That is a nice and refreshing drink. Like I said, if you're sitting there, um, you know, on a hot summer's day, maybe get, this would go great with a burger. Uh, crab cakes, definitely. You know, it is a, it's a tasty, tasty drink. Um, again, you know, it's a uh, easy one to make. It is refreshing. And usually you'll find, like I said, it started off at the Soggy Dollar on Yost Van Dyke, but now most uh, restaurants and bars in the Caribbean will have a version on their menu. Um, even a lot of places here in Florida have it on their menu. So it's a great drink to enjoy. I, I do recommend it. So until next time, take care, y'all.